If you ever wanted to start your e-commerce business in the fashion niche, then do not go anywhere because in this ultimate guide for beginners, I'm going to show you how you can start your own clothes dropshipping business and really make it in this wonderful and best selling industry. Don't go anywhere. Quick intro and let's go. Hello everyone, I'm Liran from AutoDS and in this video I'm going to show you how you can start your own clothes dropshipping business and a successful one at it. We're going to tap into how to start a dropshipping business into the clothes fashion niche and then I'm also going to show you what are some of the best suppliers that you can work with to get the best clothes products for your store and I'm also going to go over the best products that you can sell today in the clothes and fashion niche. So what are the best clothes that we can sell since it's such a vast and general category. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the action. And one second before that, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to always stay updated on all of the latest and all of the hottest topics that we have coming out in the world of dropshipping. Having said that, let's go ahead and begin. How do we start dropshipping clothes? Where do we start and how do we do it correctly to maintain and build a profitable dropshipping business? So first things first, why even dropship clothes in the first place? Well, first of all, you should always be selling in a niche that you are interested in, but having an interest in a certain niche is usually never enough. We have to make sure that there is a big market, a big demand for these products before we tap into it and start researching for products. So how do we know if clothes is even a profitable category? How do we know that there is enough room for us in the market? This graph right here from Common Thread shows you the annual revenue in sales in the apparel market in billions. So for example, last year in 2021, the apparel market sold almost $370 billion in revenue. In 2022, which is this year, it's forecasted to sell at $385 billion. And next year, it's going to continue growing to 397. And of course, it will continue increasing year by year just as we're used to in the e-commerce market. You also have good stats from other good sources like Statista showing you how the clothes industry, how the fashion industry is increasing year by year. So of course there's room to jump in and what better time than now. By the way, everything that I'm going over in this video you can read about it in a full blog article which I will leave a link to right below this video. So what are the steps to starting, creating, running, and maintaining a successful and profitable closed dropshipping business. These are the steps that we need to take. Step number one, we need to identify a niche. So the clothes or the fashion industry is a very, very general niche. We're going to have to narrow that down and find some best sellers, some products that can sell today that have high demand, which I will get to soon in this video. But step number one is identifying a niche. Step number two, we need to choose clothing products to sell. Since once we identified our niche in step number one, now we need to find which products we want to add from that niche to our dropshipping stores. Step number three, we need to find a reliable dropshipping supplier. And it kind of comes with step number two. In order to find clothing products that you want to sell, you need to find suppliers who can actually sell them. So you, you tapped into your niche, you found whatever products you want to sell inside that niche. Now we have to find suppliers that actually have those products that you can resell. Step number four, we need to choose a selling platform because up until now we talked about products and how we're going to get them and where we're going to get them from. But now we need some place to sell it on. And that is what the selling channel is good for. Step number five, we need to choose an automation software. Now that we need to start listing our products and actually create our online store, we also want to be able to scale our dropshipping business and not limit ourselves to a certain number of tasks per day, which will always limit us from growing and expanding our dropshipping empires. Step number six, we're going to list our products. Now that we know what products we're going to sell and we have our dropshipping suppliers, who can sell those products to us, which we will sell to our end customers. And of course we have our selling channel, so we know what platform we're gonna use to sell these products on. Now it's time to actually list those products. Step number seven, we're gonna learn how to market our clothing store. And that is because now that we have our products listed on our stores, 
Does anybody even know that our store exists? Does anybody even know that we have products in our stores that they're actually looking to buy? Most likely the answer to this question will be no. Nobody knows that your store exists. Although it does depend on what selling channel you are using, we're gonna talk about all of that. But in any case, this is the part where we have to get our brands known and get traffic directed to our stores so we can make those sales and profit. Step number eight will be fulfilling our orders because now we marketed our products, our stores exist, we did a great job on product research, now we're finally hitting those sales and we need to actually fulfill our orders. We got paid by our buyers on our online stores, now we're going to need to fulfill those orders and send those products to our buyers. Step number nine, we're gonna learn how to provide excellent customer service because after we make orders on our stores, every now and then customers will reach out to us and either ask a simple question, maybe they'll wanna return the product for a refund or replacement, or maybe they just wanna reach out and ask something very simple, or maybe even ask for a promotion because they wanna buy from your store again. For whatever the reason, we wanna provide the best customer service that we can. And that is what we're going to learn in step number nine. And then in step number 10, we're going to keep track and learn to analyze our stores so that we can continue making sales and profit and multiply our success and learn to scale. Those are the 10 steps that we're going to go over in, the, in this video. And those are the steps that you need to take to run, build and maintain a high converting and successful dropshipping business in the clothes and fashion industry. So let's go ahead and begin with step number one, which is identify a niche. Now, while clothes or fashion is the main general niche here, we're still going to need to narrow that down and find micro niches that are selling well inside this big, vast general niche. For example, you can look for things like women's dresses, winter gloves, gym wear, and so forth. All of these are micro niches inside the fashion and clothes main general niche. Now the way to do that is with extensive product research. And one of the best things about the dropshipping business model is that you can continue testing products over and over and over and over and over and keep replacing the slow movers, replace them with new products that you want to test. And of course, multiply your success by adding more products that are similar to those that are selling for you. But in the beginning, before you start making sales, you can continue testing new products and replacing those slow movers because you're not investing in any inventory, which is one of the best things about the dropshipping business model, it's very easy to test the market and continue testing more and more until you start finding those that start selling for you. So first you want to identify a niche by going to suppliers websites, which I will go over soon, tapping into their clothes and fashion categories and going into those micro categories and checking out what sub niches they have there. Just like I just mentioned before, it can also be hats or scarves or socks and look for a micro niche and then a micro micro niche that's really selling well on a certain sock with a certain feature or underwear, boxer shorts, whatever it may be. Now we're gonna talk about extensive product research soon. So the first step is to identify a niche. Go to your supplier's websites, see what subcategories they have under the clothes niche, see what is selling really well on your supplier's websites and start testing out those products on your website. Now let's talk about step number two, choose clothing products to sell. Once you identified your niche, like for example, let's say you went with winter gloves, then now you wanna go inside the winter gloves subcategory or sub niche and see what type of winter gloves are trending there. For example, are they heated winter gloves? Are they electric, non-electric? What type of fabric or material is it made out of? What types of variations do you have here? Different colors, different sizes, and so forth. And look for something that is trending well. Going through your supplier's websites is one way to do it. And I'm gonna talk about what suppliers you can use soon, but there are many different product research methods. And this is a very important thing to grasp and take control of because the quality of product research that you're going to do is going to be the end result whether your products and your store is going to sell or not. So product research, you need to put hours of work on it and you'll always keep working on product research even after automating almost all of your business. Product research is something that you want to keep working on and this is something very important to say. So there are other ways of doing it besides just looking at what's selling on your supplier's websites. For example, you can also use the internal product research system embedded into the AutoDS system. So if you are an AutoDS member, you have that free product research tool where there you can see 
thousands and thousands of products from our databases that are selling really well for other dropshippers and you can try your luck with them too while also looking for other products that are similar to them so that you can easily differentiate yourself from the competition. Now there are other methods, other ways of product research. I can't go into all of those methods in this video. So be sure to always check out our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash autods. You have the sell these now playlist, which we are updating constantly all the time with hot and fresh new trending product ideas. And also of course our blog page at autods.com slash blog. You can filter the product finding and best sellers category to also read about those products. So it goes together with step number two, choose clothing products to sell inside that niche that you found in step number one. Now in step number three, we have to find a supplier. Now there are many dropshipping suppliers that you can use. Some are retail suppliers, some are marketplaces, and some are private wholesale suppliers. Either way, you, there are millions and millions of products, especially closed products for you to sell and resell. And we're gonna talk about these suppliers soon. Step number four is choosing a selling platform. As I mentioned, this is where you're going to sell your products on. And the best selling channels that I can recommend for you to work with today are eBay, Shopify, Wix, and Facebook Marketplace. You've also got additional selling channels like WooCommerce, BigCommerce, and so forth. But those are the top selling channels that I would recommend using if you're a beginner, if you're just getting started and you wanna be able to build a successful dropshipping store. The main differences between them is that on Shopify and Wix, you're creating your own website from scratch. Even if you have no technical skills, you'll have your own domain name, www.yourstorename.com, and you can list as many products as you want from day one. On the other hand, you don't have any free organic traffic to your store. So as soon as you list products and your store is ready to start selling, you'll need to start using online marketing methods in order to drive traffic to your your store and I'm going to talk about that soon too. Besides that you also have Facebook Marketplace and eBay which is really easy to start selling on. For Facebook Marketplace if you are a US citizen and you have a SSN social security number for verification once you reach $599 in sales you can easily sell on the Facebook Marketplace. There is low to no competition there and pretty much any bestseller that you list from your supplier's website has a very high chance of selling organically on the Facebook Marketplace. But of course, once again, you need to live in the US, otherwise you will not have the shipping methods available when you list a product. And this way, all of the 50 states in the US will not see your listing and you won't be making any sales. So that is the prerequisite for getting started there. And of course you have eBay. If you haven't started a seller account on eBay yet, I highly advise to check out our YouTube videos and our blog articles on how to dropship on eBay successfully because eBay is looking at new sellers through a magnifying glass, making sure that you know what you're doing at, during your first steps. Otherwise, they temporarily suspend your account until you get them on the phone and let them know who you are and answer their questions about your online business. This is usually not a problem, but it's a barrier for many and you do have to take it step by step with the right knowledge to start dropshipping on eBay. And if you have an eBay, account and you already sold on your eBay account before, it'll be much easier for you to get started there. Step number five, we need to choose an automation software. Now this is where the fun begins. When you'll create your dropshipping store, no matter what selling channel you use from what I just talked about a minute ago, you're going to have to start listing products from your supplier's websites, those ones that you found from your product research. So if for example, I found a product and now I want to add it to my store, the manual way of doing it means downloading all of the images on my supplier's website, copying all of the product's information, the titles, the descriptions, the item specifications, and pasting it one by one on my dropshipping store. This can take a while to import each product, and one product can take anywhere between 10 to 20 to even 30 minutes to import, and I'm just talking about one product. What are you gonna do once you wanna have thousands of products? And another question, what are you gonna do once the prices change on your supplier's website and you're selling those products in your store too? You need to have price monitoring and also stock monitoring. If the stock status changes to out of stock on your supplier's websites, you also want it to go out of stock on your dropshipping store so that no one will buy something that you will not be able to fulfill for them. So price and stock monitoring, and of course, easy product importing. Using dropshipping automation tools like AutoDS, you will be able to quickly import products from your supplier's websites to your dropshipping stores in just a couple of seconds. And on top of that, you also have automatic order fulfillment. And this is really one of my favorite parts. 
as soon as an order comes into your dropshipping store, it gets fulfilled automatically by the system. And on top of that, tracking numbers will also be updated automatically. And you'll also enjoy easy one-click returns during the process. And you can do all of this using your buyer accounts or using AutoDS's buyer accounts and letting AutoDS take care of the hard part without using your credit line at the bank. More info on that on the Fulfilled by AutoDS service, so check that out. But this is one of the main reasons why you wanna have an automation software. You cannot scale if you're importing each product one by one. You cannot scale if you don't have price and stock monitoring, and you cannot scale if you do not have automatic orders. These are just some of the many features that AutoDS can help you with, along with automation from over 25 dropshipping suppliers and several selling channels to choose from. So don't forget to check that out. Go to AutoDS.com, see all the features and understand exactly how this is gonna help you scale and succeed with your dropshipping business and not stay limited, making the same amount of low sales and profit every day and wondering what you're doing wrong with your business. So in step number five, we're gonna sign up with AutoDS and get ready for quick product importing and everything else that I just mentioned. Step number six, we can now list our products. So let's take a quick example of how this is done. While there are several methods to import your products using AutoDS, like using the one-click importer, the single and multiple product importer, and the bulk importer by a CSV file, which you can easily generate from the AutoDS Chrome extension, which is absolutely free to use. In this case, I'll just show you a quick example of the one-click importer. Let's go to any dropshipping supplier and search for winter gloves. Now let's say we did our product research and we noticed that bundle sets are actually working really well. We'll say that there's a lot of offices or a lot of places around the world that are looking to buy gloves in bulk because they have a whole bunch of students or workers or so forth that they wanna supply these gloves to. So this is one of the products that I wanna to import to my stores. As you see, this is the product page, but what I'm gonna do first is download and install that AutoDS Helper extension. So on Google, I'm gonna search for AutoDS Helper and click on the Chrome extension link. Then I'm gonna click on Add to Chrome. Now, as you can see, it's been added to Chrome. So I'm gonna head back to the suppliers page and I'm going to refresh it so I'll see that one-click importer button. So let's just give it a couple of seconds. And right here above the title, you can see the import to AutoTS button. Let's pin the extension so that we'll always see it up here. And then I'll click on it. And here I can choose what store I want to import this product to when I'm using this one-click importer. So in this case, I'm going to leave it on Shopify Best Shop USA and import it to my Shopify store. So I click on the variant that I want, and I'm simply going to click on import to AutoDS. Now, as you can see, the small animation here at the button has begun, which means that the import process has begun to the drafts page of my dropshipping store. And if I head over to the AutoDS platform, it will show up right here in the draft section in just a couple of seconds after it's done. As you can see right here, the draft is being created and I can click on view details to track the progress and wait for it to finish. And that is actually how simple it is to get it in the draft section of your store. Once it'll be there, I'll be able to easily optimize the product. For now, let's continue with the step-by-step -step process. As I mentioned, there are a few methods to import products. That is one of the fastest ways to do it, but there are also different ways to import single products. And there are also fast ways to import thousands or even tens of thousands of products at once, if that's what you want to your dropshipping store using the AutoDS extension. I will not go over that in this video to keep it as short as possible, but of course, head over to autods.com and check out the features that we have up here and click on products importer to learn more about those methods. So now that we finally have products on our stores, the seventh step is to market our store. As I mentioned before, now that your stores are up and running, Hardly anyone knows that it exists. Now this is true if you're dropshipping on places like Shopify and Wix, but if you listed those products on Facebook Marketplace and eBay, while there are promotion tools using those selling channels, you also have free organic traffic from those selling channels. eBay has a huge customer base as does Facebook, and as soon as you list a product on your stores, people will be able to see your listing as long as they search for anything similar on those selling platforms. But in other places like Shopify and Wix, you will have to put some money on the side for marketing and use different marketing solutions, different online marketing methods in order to market your store. Let's start with eBay. As I mentioned, while you still have free organic traffic, there are still two promotions that work really well on eBay. 
The first is promoted listings and the second is promoted listings advanced, which is eBay PPC or eBay pay per click. And as you can see, you have a link to an article on each and every one of those methods to learn how to do it correctly. So the first one is promoted listings, as I just mentioned, and only after that, eBay will deduct that certain percentage that you gave them. For example, you can tell eBay, hey eBay, I'll give you 5% from the product's price if you are able to promote this listing and make a sell from promoting it. And then you can choose all of the products or some of the products that you have in your store. And only after eBay is able to make a sell from making you sponsored, from giving you a sponsored spot, on those products, only then they will take out that 5% or whatever you gave them from the transaction fee. The second method for promoting your products on eBay is using eBay PPC Advanced, eBay Advanced Promoted Listings or eBay Promoted Listings Advanced by the way they call it. And this is just another way of saying PPC or pay-per-click. Once again, you have a full blog article on how to use the PPC campaign with a live example of how I used it on my store along with all of the advantages and all of the benefits. But do keep in mind, this does mean that you need to have a budget because every time someone clicks on your ad using this promoted listings advanced PPC feature, you are going to pay eBay a few cents or several cents. So it really depends on how much money you are giving them in order to rank higher than your competitors who are auctioning for the same keywords or for similar keywords. And PPC is something that the biggest marketplaces in the world and the biggest companies in the world are using, for example, Amazon have their own PPC campaigns. You have Facebook PPC campaigns or Facebook ads, same thing with Google, same thing with YouTube and so forth. So this is a relatively new feature on eBay that just rolled out in the previous year and it's actually working pretty well. So check this out. So check this feature out if you're looking for more ways to promote your products and make more sales on eBay. For Shopify and Wix, you also have PPC methods like running Facebook ads or running Google or YouTube ads. But one of the best ways to start is using Facebook ads and you can learn how to do this a full A to Z demonstration using a few different links. One is autodscom slash ebooks. And here we have a free ebook that will take you through the eight steps that you need to take to start, run, and manage successful PPC campaigns, whether you're dropshipping on Shopify or Wix, it doesn't really matter. It's the same for each platform. And here you're gonna learn about the basics of online marketing, how to create your Facebook ads account, installing the Facebook pixel, how to perform audience research and target the right audiences, how to create Facebook video ads, so how to create videos for your ads, whether you have videos for them or not, how to set your Facebook campaign goals and ad sets, and then how to launch your Facebook ad and how to analyze and optimize your ads once you start seeing results. And the more you test on ads, the more you test on Facebook ads, the better your results will be for the next time you run a new ad. And this is the way to do it. You start slowly and gradually build your way up until you find products that start to sell well. You learn to scale those ads and you can learn all of that using that free ebook. So once again, that ebook is 100% free. And if you're the type who likes to watch instead of read, you can also head over to autods.com slash courses. And here we have a few courses, an eBay, Shopify, and Facebook course. But here I wanna talk about the Shopify one, which is once again also relevant for Wix. Here you're learning how to start your own Shopify store from scratch, but what's relevant for Shopify and Wix in this course is the Facebook ads. So if you just scroll down to create, configure, and launch Facebook ads, you can take these lessons. So you got the intro to Facebook ads and then all of the video lessons, set up a Facebook page, Facebook ads account, the pixel audience research, and everything else that I talked about. So you can watch all of those videos, once again, 100% for free, and learn how to run and manage successful Facebook PPC. PC campaigns. So this is one of the ways to do it. One of the ways to market your store and market your products and your brand using selling channels like Shopify and Wix. You can also use influencer marketing to get influencers to make a shout out for your product, for your brand, as long as their audience are related to the niche that you're trying to sell. So you need to look for influencers in your niche or who have audiences who are interested in your niche. And the best way to do that is using influencer marketing platforms. So once again, you have the link to that in the article below this video. And here you're gonna learn about the best influencer marketing platforms that you can use to spot these influencers and not just create Google searches and look for influencers there, which will be much, much more challenging for you. So you got these influencer marketing platforms that group all of the relevant influencers in one place. And there you can read reviews about them from other people who hired them and also check out their audiences and see if they are relevant to your niche. Influencer marketing platforms is another way to market your store when you're dropshipping on places like Shopify and Wix. 
Another option is by using email marketing. Email marketing is one of the best solutions because it doesn't cost any money to send an email, but what you will need is an email list of thousands of subscribers who are interested in your niche, in your product and in your brand. The way to get them is by simply offering promotions on your website. For example, you can give anyone who enters your store a certain discount using apps from the Shopify store or from the Wix store. There are even free apps to do this that will simply offer promotion codes for your customers in exchange for their email address. That is one way to obtain your buyer's email addresses and once you have an email list of a few thousand subscribers, even you can start at a few hundred, but, but a few thousand will have a positive effect on your marketing campaigns. You can send them email marketing campaigns, show them your products, show what problem this product is solving, and of course, give them a certain promotion if they purchase that product. It's all about giving your buyers the feeling that they are getting great discounts when they buy from your store. And in exchange, they will give you their email addresses as well as purchase from your store. And once they're happy with the product, they're also going to not only turn into repeat customers, but also refer their friends and their family to buy from you. But that also goes along with customer service, which is one of the last topics that we're going to talk about. So learn about the different ways to promote your products. You can also, once again, learn a lot more from our YouTube channel and from our blog page. Page. Here I'm trying to keep things more simple. And for Facebook Marketplace, once again, you have a lot of free organic traffic like you have on eBay, but there's still a great way to promote your products there. And I have a video that I recorded on that subject, so you can click on promoting our products under the Facebook Marketplace marketing section. And here, as you can see, you'll learn about a great way to promote your products on Facebook by giving your buyers a certain promotion and this is a great way to promote your products and boost them on Facebook, as well as also sharing your listings in relevant buy and sell groups on Facebook. That doesn't cost any money and it will get you more traffic to your store. Now that we are done with the marketing part of our stores, well, we're not really done. You still have, you still have a lot of research and a lot of implementing to do, but all of the information is here for you. Now that we are done marketing our products, we're actually gonna start making sales. And this is the part where we need to start fulfilling our orders. Now, the regular way to do it is to simply head over to our supplier's website and purchase the product from there. So for example, let's say that these gloves, which I also imported to my store just a few minutes ago, and as you see here, it's already in my drafts page. So I'm gonna get back to this soon. But in any case, let's say that this product sold, and now I need to fulfill this order. So the manual way to do it is by simply adding it to my cart, purchasing the product and using my customer's address as the shipping location. So this way I'm simply ordering the product and shipping it directly to my buyer without me having to physically see or touch the product myself. This is a dropshipping business model and it works quite well. But in any case, this is the manual way to do it. And once you'll have five, 10, 15, 20, 25 plus orders per day, you will not be able to do this manually. Now, granted on the one hand, you can hire a virtual assistant and they're also supported inside the AutoDS system where you can give them certain privileges and not give them access to all of your store at once in the beginning. But in any case, you can use virtual assistants to take care of this process for you. But the easier way to do it is by simply automating your orders. Now, there are two ways to automate your orders on AutoDS. The first one is by using semi-automatic orders, which means AutoDS will go to your supplier's website and it can be any supplier. It doesn't just have to be this example that you're seeing here. You can simply head over to autods.com suppliers to see all of the suppliers that we support today in AutoDS in all of these different regions around the world. And here you can enjoy all of the automation settings, including price and stock monitoring, quick product importing, many price automation settings and things like that, which you will learn about once you head over to autods.com and learn about the features. But in any case, you can use all of these suppliers and enjoy the automation settings. One of those automation settings is automatic orders. There's two different types of automatic orders. One is semi-automatic orders, which isn't fully automatic. It's using your buyer accounts, meaning once you get an order, the system will fulfill it for you automatically and send it to your buyer, but it will log into your supplier's website using your login information and your payment settings that are configured inside your buyer account. This means that you're using your own credit card or whatever you have in your supplier's buyer account settings, which means you're using your own credit line at the bank. The second way to do it is using the Fulfilled by AutoDS service, which works today with US suppliers selling at US dollar currency. With the Fulfilled by AutoDS service, every time you get an order, the system can process it for you automatically and the order status will change accordingly to the relevant status. 
And once tracking information is available, it will also be updated automatically on AutoDS and on your selling channel so that your buyers will be able to track the progress. And if you're using suppliers like Amazon who give you AMZL tracking numbers that are not supported on other selling channels, which means your buyers will not be able to track the tracking events of their delivery progress, then with our automated order solution, no matter if it's a semi-automatic or fulfilled by AutoDS, we work with Blue Care Express and Aqualine to convert your tracking numbers and turn them into trackable and supported and readable tracking numbers. So it solves a few problems at once, especially the fulfilled by AutoDS service, which does not use your buyer accounts. So if you want to drop you from places like Amazon, but you know that your buyer account is going to get suspended at one place at one point or another, because Amazon doesn't really like the fact that you will be dropshipping from their platform. And by the way, guys, there are many suppliers that you can use. Once again, you don't have to use the retail arbitrage method. You can also work with private wholesale dropshipping suppliers, and soon you'll have enough of them embedded into the product research of the AutoDS system, but more on that in other videos. You can choose whatever supplier you want from this list. Some are super dropshipping friendly, and some are retail marketplaces like Amazon, which you can still use, utilize using the Fulfilled by AutoDS service, because in the Fulfilled by AutoDS service, we're not using your buyer accounts. It's using only AutoDS's buyer accounts, which means you don't have to worry about account locks. You have easy one-click returns, and everything is 100% automated. So learn about all of those features, and I'm going to show you a quick overview of the orders page on AutoDS, just so you can see what it looks like. So when an order comes in, it can start in pending or automatically send to auto order, depending on what you have in your settings. And once that happens, it'll change to the ordered status with the buy order ID from your supplier's website as soon as the order was fulfilled. And after that, it will turn to shipped with the tracking number available in AutoDS and on your selling channel. Once there's tracking information available, once again, updated automatically and delivered once it reaches your buyer. So all of this is automated for you. You don't need to do anything. You can sit back, relax, and continue working on product research, customer service, and growing your e-commerce business. Those are the most important things in order for you to keep growing and keep profiting and make it in this business and like i said you also have easy one click returns just take an order status change the status to request a return and then either you will have a shipping label right next to the order status that you can download and send to your buyers so that they can return the package and get a refund and then you will be refunded to your managed account balance which is used to fulfill your orders or you will get a return felt if the supplier that you're using does not approve the return for any reason. So once again, 100% automation is the way to go if you really wanna make it in the dropshipping business model. Now, once you've fulfilled your orders, it's time to provide customer service because this is when the customers are gonna reach out to you. So it should go without saying, but customer service should be number one on your list. Every time a customer reaches out to you, and it doesn't matter where you're selling on, if it's on Facebook, they're gonna send you messages through Facebook Messenger. If it's on Shopify or Wix, you can see it in your dashboard or in your email associated with your domain. If it's on eBay, you can simply see it in your eBay messages or in your email address if you have email notifications on. What you wanna do here is take care of your buyers, take care of your customers. If they're saying they didn't receive the package, check the tracking information. If they're saying the product is not as described, check with the supplier why this problem occurs, and of course, let them return the item if they are on their 30 or 60 day return period or whatever your supplier is offering. Either way, you wanna answer all of your buyers. Don't leave anyone unattended. No matter what the reason is, what the reason is for them to reach out to you, you wanna answer all of them and offer them promotion discounts, offer them deals to come back and keep buying from your store even if it means you're profiting less it is good for your business you want to have as many customers as possible you want them to be happy with their products you want other people to see their products so that they will be able to refer their friends and their family to also buy from you and slowly increase and grow your brand this goes together with providing excellent customer service we are not here to sell a product only one time to a customer and then say goodbye we're here to keep them hold on to them, retarget them, and keep growing our dropshipping businesses. And if you're selling on eBay, you have an easy customer support management system that's embedded inside the system where you can answer all of your customers' messages and reply to cases and more things like having chat snippets to save all kinds of messages that you're writing to your buyers. And everything looks really nice with a great user interface that looks like a chat window instead of eBay's format of showing you messages, which is not very practical but that's just another small by the way. Step number 10, the final step for succeeding and continuing to grow with your dropshipping business is learning how to track whatever is working well for you and track whatever is not working well for you and replace that with what is working well while always researching for new ways to have things work even more well for you. And let's just 
clean that up for a second and see exactly what I'm talking about. One great way to analyze your success and learn from it is by using product tags, which you have available once again in AutoDS. And this is a great place to add tags for your products and then later be able to filter only those tags and see how well that certain niche or that certain micro category is working for your store. So here you have a quick screenshot, but let's see an example inside the system. So let's go back to AutoDS and from the orders, let's go back to our drafts page because those gloves should be ready by now or even a long time ago. So here they are right here on our drafts page using that one click importing method that I showed you a few minutes ago. Here we have the quick item editor and here we can completely optimize the product before importing it, which will move it from the drafts to the product section of our store. And then this product will be live on our store and anyone will be able to go in and buy it. But before that, I want the product to look good. So here you can optimize the product's title. So of course you can remove words, you can change them around a little bit. You can search your competition to see what key keywords they are using. You can add more relevant, strong used keywords. And once again, completely optimize the title and the collection. If you're on Shopify, you also have collections. And here are those tags that I was talking about. So AutoDS already automatically added these tags to this listing. Clothing, shoes and jewelry, men, these gloves and mittens, cold weather gloves. I would even add women because it's also for women. And I would add another tag called winter. And we've got gloves and women's cold weather gloves. Let's just also add gloves. Okay, so we've got all these tags. And if this product sells, I will see it under any one of these tags. So it'll be very easy to analyze it. And you've got your shipping methods, your item location, price, stock monitoring, automatic ordering. Then you've got the product's description, which once again, you can completely optimize, but this is everything that we had on our supplier's website. So if we go back to the supplier, you see all of this text right here is everything that you are seeing right here. And you can also choose whatever template you wanna use. You also have many free templates using AutoDS and your variations. So here we only imported one variation, but we can grab all of these variations and add them by simply adding their URL. So I can click, for example, on this variation right here, copy it, and then here in the variations, I'm gonna click on add variant and also add that variation that I just saw. So I copied the whole URL and it took only the product ID from that URL. The supplier, the region is correct. We're gonna click on add variant. And in just a few seconds, that variant will also be available here too. But of course you don't have to do it that way. You can simply take all of the products URL up here, delete this draft and re-add the product using single product or multiple products and adding it here. And it'll also add the variations. I can also do it this way, add it here. As long as in the upload settings, you also told AutoDS that you wanna upload the variations, it'll also add all of those variations. So you can use those import methods, you can use the one-click importer, as long as you have it in the settings that you wanna also import the variations. So besides that, you also have the product's images, which were once again imported from our supplier and the item specifications. In this case, there was only one. You can also add as many specifications as you want. And if there were more, it would be written right here. And once we're done, we're gonna click on save and import it when we're ready. Now it's gonna move from the drafts to the product section of my store and once again, go live. Now, in order to keep track of those products, we're gonna head over to the products page. And here you have many, many filters. As you can see, the import process for that product from the drafts has begun. And in just a few seconds, it'll be ready here. But here we can add a filter in our products page. Here's all of the products that are live on my store, on my chosen store here on the left side. You can also have eBay stores, Shopify stores, Facebook, Wix, and sell clothes in any one of those stores, in any one of those selling channels or even all of them. But anyway, here you have the variations, the date when it was uploaded, the prices, how much we're profiting, where we're getting the product from, where we're selling it on and so forth. And here on top, we can create a filter because once you have thousands of products, how will you be able to analyze how those winner gloves are working for you? So here in the filter section with all of the filters that we have, in this case, we can just search for tag. And here we have the tags option. And here I can choose whatever I want. So I wanna see all of my gloves and mittens, cold weather gloves, men and women products and click on done. Then you will see whatever you have here. Now the import process has already finished. So as you can see here, uploaded on April 4, 2022, which is when I'm recording this video. And we have two variations available because I added that extra variation, which was already added. They're both available, they're both in stock. We've got the price range, the profits, didn't make any sales so far because I just uploaded it. And that is how easy it is to add products to your store and be able to analyze them. Or once a certain time passes and you wanna look back and analyze and see what's working well, 
whatever is not working well and replace whatever is not working well with things that are selling, products that are selling for you while always testing out more and more niches. That is the way to make it and that is how to test the market correctly. Now I'm going to zip through the best dropshipping clothing suppliers and the best dropshipping clothing trending niches that you should check out today. But I'm gonna make it quick because this video went on longer than it should and you have all of the information below this video. So some of the best dropshipping clothes suppliers that you can use today are Amazon, Walmart, AliExpress, Banggood, CJ Dropshipping, eBay, and Printful. Now these aren't the only closed dropshipping suppliers. You have 21 closed dropshipping suppliers that you can use today by reading our blog article on the top 21 dropshipping closed suppliers, but I'm not gonna go over that right now. That is what you have the blog articles for. Those are our favorite out of the bunch with Printful being the only one that is not supported by AutoDS, so you cannot automate your business using Printful. But the good thing about them is that you can run a print-on-demand business, meaning you can have your own customized prints on your t-shirts or on whatever clothing product you're selling. And that way, differentiate yourself from the competition even more. But of course, that is not the only way to succeed and not a good way to scale since everything is still being done pretty much manually. And for the top clothing categories and niches to sell, you have women's clothing, boutique clothing, dresses, tr children's clothing, men's clothing, and plus size clothing. All of those niches, all of those six niches are actually selling pretty well. And now let's break them down some more because without breaking it down, we're not gonna make it very far. And before I break it down, remember that you cannot sell trademark products. You cannot sell products from big brands that don't want their products being resold. So if it's a company that you heard of before in the past, if it's any big company that you know of, stay away from them. But on the other hand, if you're going to add products through AutoDS, you're gonna have an extra layer of protection because we have a huge Vero database Meaning, if you're gonna add a product that you are not allowed to resell, the system will let you know, it'll give you a little warning, and from there you can choose if you still wanna continue with the import process or move on to the next product and skip that one. So don't sell products that you know that you're not allowed to resell. Besides that, there are more than enough dropshipping friendly suppliers that will be more than happy for you to resell their products. So dropshipping women's clothing, this is an evergreen category, of course, that's selling all year long during the summer, winter, spring, whatever. Women love buying clothes and they love buying clothes online. We had a huge increase in online shopping for women's clothes recently, and this increase is not gonna go anywhere, just like the dropshipping business model. So what are some of the best women clothing products that are selling? We've got yoga pants, breathable cotton underwear, and sweater and cardigans. Now, let's go to breathable cotton underwear really quick. These products most likely have no return policies because underwear is a sensitive issue. So most suppliers will not allow you to return those products. So make sure you have the right policies set in your store when importing such products. But those are some of the best sellers from the women's side. From wholesale boutique clothing, we've got vintage dresses and designer clothes. Both have huge demand and are selling all year long, all the time. For dropshipping dresses, we've got cocktail dresses, body cons, and maxi dresses. All three are micro niches from the dress niche, which is also selling, of course, really, really well. And we've got children's clothing. This one is split to waterproof winter gloves, which is a product that many people are buying for their kids, but also for adults, so don't leave that one out. We've got ballet dance dresses, which is something that many girls like to do, and many parents are looking for places to buy such a product. So make sure to see what your suppliers can offer there and add those variations to your store too. And you've got cute pattern socks, Adults also buy cute pattern socks, but this one is better for kids, so let's leave that to them. See what are the best sellers from your suppliers' websites and add enough variations to test out that niche too. And when you're testing out products, do not forget to test out at least 20 to 30 variations from each product idea. So for example, if we're talking about waterproof winter gloves, we're gonna add at least 20 to 30 winter gloves, different variations of them to our store, and kind of test out to see what's getting more views, what's starting to get sales, learn from their features and then add more similar products to them. But if we're only gonna add one winter glove and one dance dress and one cute pattern sock, 99% chance that that product is not gonna sell and we will not be able to learn the market from there. Then we've got men's clothing. So some of the best men's clothing products that are selling well are cuff beanies, sweatshirts, and running shorts. Now, things like sweatshirts and running shorts are pretty basic. So once again, you're gonna have to dive deeper down inside those categories and see what is selling well look for similarities and features and look for things that are different and always add enough variations to be able to test each product niche. Then we've got plus size clothing. Usually people who are dropshipping clothing are looking at an audience that are very, very skinny, very petite, 
And that is not the only target audience that's available that's looking to buy clothes. We've also got plus size, which not a lot of people take into consideration, but now you can. So plus size clothing, we've got fleece jackets and hoodies, patchwork denim jackets, and long tailored blazers, but those are some examples and you can read more about them below. But don't leave out plus size clothing. This is a great selling category with lots of demand. And a few last tips before we wrap this up. Don't forget to work with multiple suppliers. Don't only work with one supplier. And that is for a very good reason. If you're only going to work with one supplier like AliExpress in China and you're only sourcing products from China, then on the one hand, your customers are waiting a long, long time to get their items. And this is not something that they're looking for. They'd rather pay a few extra bucks and get their product quicker. So in this case, you can also add more suppliers from your target audience's region. Like for example, if you're dropshipping in the UK, then you have more than enough UK suppliers using the methods that I talked about in this video. Same for US, same for Canada, same for Australia, same for New Zealand, same for anywhere else that you wanna sell. And this is one of the greatest tips that you can have. You don't only have to target one market and you don't only have to work with one supplier. With all of this diversity, you can easily differentiate yourself from the competition and move a product that has a lot of competition to a region and from a supplier that doesn't have a lot of competition and rake in those sales too. And of course, if one supplier lets you down, like Chinese holidays means all of your Chinese suppliers will not be able to ship out any product. You don't want your business to die during that time. That is why you wanna have alternatives from other places, other regions around the world who can fulfill those orders for you during those times. There is more than enough reasons to work with multiple dropshipping suppliers and make sure that you add that to your business. I hope that you enjoyed this video on how to dropship clothes the right way. Make sure to take all of these steps into consideration and let me know in the comments below if you have any questions or any comments and I will personally answer them. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to learn about your next step in your e-commerce business. Thank you for watching. Now go on and make those sales.